Okay, everyone, so today is a very, very simple recipe. Amish grape juice. Simple. It literally calls for one cup of grapes, whole, a fourth of a cup of sugar, and hot water. The jars are hot, sterile already. I just took those out. Um, they're sitting on this rug for that reason, because you don't want to put the hot jar on a cold counter. The water is already boiling, so all we have to do is add all the ingredients in, leave a half inch of headspace, which is basically this band right here, you leave empty, and you put your sterilized lids on, and you put it in your water bath canner. Super simple, so let's dive in. Okay, so first things first, we need our fourth of a cup of sugar, a fourth of a cup into each of these. I should use our funnel. Reduce the mess that you're making. I have a feeling I used up a little bit less into that middle one. I put a little bit more sugar in there. Because it was at that half mark when I got done checking the first time, which tells me something's off. So now we just need another half a cup. I just did a fourth a cup in there, guys, so I did not just put a half cup in there. And the last one. I don't know if we're going to need all those. I think we will. I think we will. Um, guesstimates, guys. So now we're on to our grapes. I got these for free, guys. That's why I have them all. Um, they've been sitting in my freezer waiting to be used to make jelly and all that fun stuff. I might actually be able to do more than I estimated. So it's one cup of the grapes. I'm making jelly as well today. In order to make jelly, you're going to follow the recipe of making juice, but we're not going to do the sugar and everything else. So it's going to be a little bit different, but you do make your jelly from a juice base. So you're going to make your grapes into juice before you make the jelly. So it's a two-step process. I only used half the bag. I could do like another six things of grape juice. So now we're ready to do our hot water. Our jars are hopefully still hot enough. One. So I don't know how much you guys missed because my camera died, but once you're done filling all of the waters to that one inch of headspace, you get a clean rag and you just wipe the top just in case you got any of that stickiness at the top, um, sugar granules, any of that. You know, just wipe the top. And then you're going to get your new lids on there, finger tight and put them into the water bath. So once you have your lids finger tight, you don't want them too tight because you don't want it to make it impossible for the air to escape. Um, you're going to use your jar lifter because these are hot and bring them over to the water bath canner, which is already boiling at the moment. Hot jar into hot canner. And these are going to go in there for 20 minutes boiling. So once the water is returned to boiling, once these get added, you put your timer to 20 minutes and you let them can. <laughs> you let them boil. 
Um, after 20 minutes, you can turn off the heat, and I usually leave them in there for at least five minutes with the lid on, just so that the temperature can kind of regulate before I take them out. When you take them out, you're going to put them onto a towel or carpet like I have here, so they're not going directly onto a cold counter, and let them sit for 24 to 48 hours. Now I'm going to show you something. Notice the water covers the lids. When you are water bath canning, you always want to make sure your water is covering the lids when you put them in there. It is already boiling, as you can see, so we can start our timer for 20 minutes. I'm going to put the lid on, and in 20 minutes, those will be ready. And here's your finished product of the Amish grape juice. You could also do this with cranberries, guys. They now have to sit for 24 to 48 hours. You see that pretty nice purple. You see the floating fruit. Um, in 24 hours, we will take these bands off because you don't want to leave those on because you could end up with a false seal or a premature seal breakage. Check to make sure this bubble in the middle is down and just lift it up by the lid. Make sure the lid stays on. Label it. It's good for at least a year. Now, ideally, you want to let this sit on the shelf for at least one month to get the ideal flavor. The longer it sits, the richer the flavor. Super easy, guys. Get to canning, enjoy it, have fun, and guys, be kind. You don't know what anyone's going through. We'll catch you on the next one.